with respect to last year. And hey, a nice little feather in the cap with the rookie as he manages to notch his 10th career goal here in the show. And so, hey, look, he's not catching Gretzky anytime soon, but at the same time, it's still a very respectable number. He's into double digits now for his career in the NHL with his 10. All right, elsewhere around the National Hockey League, a couple of others. Show rolls on. James Sabalski with you, taking your calls, your text messages, and look who's trending on social media. The kid does it, and does he ever do it in clutch style? The overtime winner, the first of the youngster's career, and I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the first of many. I love the way this kid plays, and I feel like this is a kid who plays better in bigger moments. What say you? Let's go to the phones here now. Let's check in on line number four. You know, and, and I like what I saw from this team. They have been one of the most complete teams. Let's take a look at the rest of the action on the ice tonight in the National Hockey League. The Preds took to the ice to battle the Islanders. Nashville posts the win in a tightly contested affair. The Blue Jackets went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Jets. Columbus took the W in a close one. The Sins took to the road to match up with the Rangers. Ottawa played a complete game in this one and easily get the regulation win. We'll check the inbox, we'll check the text line and hear what you have to say next. Hi everybody, we're in Boston, Massachusetts tonight. So much great history here on the ice. Four, four, Esposito. Let's see what's in store tonight. Both teams seem ready and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Bruins take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. The Bruins have it now. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. Georgiev's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Bruins win the draw. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Hammers a shot. Comes up with the glove save. Ray Ferraro with a little comparison between the stars. He's keeping tabs on. We like to call it the razor's edge, Ray. Lots of good players in this game, James, but I'm looking at these two in particular. I get a feeling one of them is going to make a difference. Bergeron's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Handles the pass. a shot and that's blocked in traffic and the puck leaves the zone 
Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's broken up. Puck picked up by Marchand. Here's a shot. Georgiev's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Another face-off looming here on this power play. The Bruins win the face-off. Moves it to Marchand. Here's a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Oh, what a chance here. Can they make it happen on this two on one? Georgiev's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Landis Gong side still short handed here as they slide in for the faceoff. Feeds the puck over to Marchand. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Landeskog's got it in the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Carlos stick handling in his own zone. Moves it up. Hangs onto the puck. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. Boston's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Caught into the glove by Georgiev. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Cogliano's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Take it along the wall by Lindholm. Unloads it! And that's deflected off someone in front. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Turns it aside with the glove. Rosinen's good at making accurate passes with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. It's how he sets up his teammates for success. Marshawn's make it snappy zone ability helps him score when he shoots while in motion, making it so hard to catch up to the release. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. The Avs look to start the transition game. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He tracks this puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Right from the middle of the ice. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Nice pass. Moves the puck across to Bertuzzi. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Huge stop by Georgiev. Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, big time save by Georgiev. Sharp reaction save. Ellers ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Bergeron's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Georgiev's gonna pounce on it and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face off. Boston's won the faceoff. Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. Snaps it on that. Oh, and another stop. Manson's last stick's in the garbage dump. He had to go get a new one. Through pass ahead. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Well, here comes the response. 
You can't do that. You cannot shoot the puck after the whistle and expect that nobody's going to get grumpy. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Well, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink, because you're tired and thirsty, and now you get a bowl of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? No, I, but I never was in there. Well, yeah, I was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. 14 minutes, 41 seconds. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Colorado's won the draw. Scrum along the wall. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Here they go, three on one. One save made by Georgiev. Getting set to play for the fans here this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back at period number two in just a bit. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Boston's focus going forward is going to be to hold on to the puck much better than they did in that turnover-prone first period. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Chance on the deflection. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. That puck clearly changes direction. Nobody's going to be able to stop that one. It's in the net. They really don't need to change much, James. I love the way that they've played tonight, and the coach is just reminding the kid, don't get frustrated. Continue to attack. Continue to try to score and blow this game wide open. They've had plenty of chances here tonight. Let's see if they can continue it. Boston's taking the lead, but still lots of time to go here, Ray. That's a lot of work, James, put into just getting yourself to the front. Now you've got to play like a leader. Colorado's won it. The Avs going to work on offense. Played big in the moment there. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Turns him away. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Colorado's got control of the puck. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Branton has got it to the side. Quick pass to Marchand. Into the offensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Pass this over to Bergeron. Boston's got it along the wall. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. Takes that pass back at the point. Now over to Bergeron. The Avs looking against the half wall. Just gets enough to keep it out. Slides the puck over to McAvoy. Takes the feed. Shot! And that goes off a player in front. Comfort's ready to go. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, 
this is what you get. You had lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Boston's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Colorado's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Quick feed to Rodriguez. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. Slides it to Nichuskin. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Quick feed down low. Landeskog's just so strong on the puck. Even though he stumbled, he was able to keep that play alive, make the pass, and they get a chance on goal. Thunderous hit in the wall. Marchand's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. The centerman glide into position. Get a little physical there with that collision. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Boston's on the attack. Quick shot. Gets the glove on it. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Plays the puck up ahead. The Bruins run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Works it across to Eller. Now he takes it over the line. Moves the puck. Bergeron's got it on the offensive end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marchand. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Natruskin's got it along the wing. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Rodriguez. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Oh, that's off the blocker. What a stop by Georgiev. Oh, and another quick stop. That happened so quickly, there's no help from the defense because the puck's there, and it's back at the goaltender again. He turns them both away. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And not much on that one. Georgiev's got the puck. Boy, he's been under, and he's gonna pay for it. Yeah, you can get pretty cheeky if you want, but now you gotta drop your mitts and hope you don't get punched in the face. Oh, and a thunderous end to that one. Yeah, somebody came third in that fight. That was decisive. like when the guys start throwing them like that. Somebody looks like they're going to get hurt every time. But I don't know that the home guy did very well there. The Avs win the draw. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Colorado's got it along the wall. Slick feed. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Nice stop by Georgiev. Grabbed along the board by Krejci. Here's a chance to set up now. His reflexes on display tonight. Into the offensive end now. Boston's got the puck in their own end. And he takes the pass. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Taken by McCarr. The Avs take it across the blue line. Right on the doorstep. And the call check. Oh, smart play. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, and another beauty stop right 
right there. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Shoots it, denies him. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Rantanen. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. along the wall. Sizzling shot and he makes the save. There's back-to-back -back saves. He's like a backboard in there. Bang, bang, the puck's off him twice. He makes two stops. More than half the period left to play. The Bruins are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Can't make the connection on the pass. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Colorado's looking to break out. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. On the attack along the boards. Let's see the call here. The Bruins are being called for tripping. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys, notice some things that the penalty killers do, and you try to adjust one step ahead of them. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Quick pass to Johnson. And there's the save. Slides the puck over. Down the left wing, they came the zone. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Georgiev's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Offense his own faceoff and he wins the draw. Misses that one off target. He wants to deliver this puck quickly, James, and I, I know what he's thinking. It's gotta be a perfect shot. It doesn't. Just think of how many goals go right through the goal. Puts it on net. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Hammers a shot and he comes up with it. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Quick feed to Lekanen. And a textbook pass save there. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Takes control of the puck. Here he is in close. Georgiev's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Here in the back half of this period, Boston's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Gorgiev's got to be clenching his fist down at his end of the ice. No matter what he does, he can't help his team get some goals. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Turns it over. Moves it quickly over to Comfer. Nice feed. Sends the feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Georgiev's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Who had the better night? Carlin. Stand by. Marshawn's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score.
more proofs he's had a stronger night, guys. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck. Compliano's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Denies him with the pad. Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Boston's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Faceoff looming as both centers get into position. Boston's got possession here in their own end. Takes the feed, moving in. There's a firm collision. Handles the puck. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Hall. Many different areas here, Ray. Does it seem to matter? A contest up for grabs in just a moment, but first things first, we've got the beast on the line. You wanted to touch on the rookie here again, right? Yeah, and, and we didn't get much out of him tonight, but he's rolling along. I, you know, we get a win. I thought he did some good things on the ice, and he is still one of the bright spots on this team. To me, he fits though, right? Would you not say? Would you not say that? Oh yeah, he fits great. And I mean, when you add talent to a roster that's already got some decent talent. I think only good things are going to happen as we move along. I would say from where he started at the beginning of the year to where he is now, he has become much more of a complete player. All right, appreciate the call. We'll go back to the phone. Let's take a look around the league and some of the final scores out there tonight. The Avs had a tall... Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened elsewhere on the ice. The Hawks were in tough with...